In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all on behalf of His Excellency Jamal Sanad Saudi, the manager of the Emirates, Centra, the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. I would like to welcome you this evening in a lecture under the title Media and the Thought and Vision of Sheikh Zayed, presented by Mohammed Agutsi, a presenter and consultant of the UAE. Dr. Mohammed al Gadassi began his professional career at Abu Dhabi British TV Company in May 1969 as a news interpreter and presenter. He, he first met the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, may God rest his soul in peace, on October 21st, 1969, while covering the fourth meeting of the Union and Nine Emirates in, in Abu Dhabi. Throughout 1969 and 1970, Dr. Agdasi reported on the activities of Sheikh Zayed as well as other daily news and in 1970 became coordinating supervisor for the television programs and broadcaster. He continued to read the daily news and covered Sheikh Zayed activities both inside and outside the UAE. Dr. al Gutsibir broadcast the proclamation of the, UN, of, the UN, for, of the Union from the Jumeirah on December, in, in December 2nd, 1979. The unification of the armed forces on May 60, on May 6, 1976, from the Murecha, and he established the establishment of Cooperation Council. In addition to the speeches of Sheikh Zayed, Dr. Mohammed Agdasi became more involved in the programs of the documentaries and reading news after he was appointed director of programs. The late Sheikh Zayed may God rest in his soul and peace would ask for documentaries and an overstation of the desert and the settlement of the Bedouin and other news broadcast by Dr. Muhammad Agdasi wrote and recorded, com comment uh, recorded commentary for around 360 documentaries. Dr. Agdasi has hosted many TV in interviews with senior official senior official of officer officials after he the death of Sheikh Zayed he published a book titled Zaid the Third of Omarain. Recently, he was commissioned to continue, 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 contribute to the secondary school books on Sheikh Zaid moral approach. Dr. Mohammed Gadassi holds a bachelor's degree in arts from Damascus University, a general, he, a general diploma in education and master's degree in comparative literature from Cairo University. He also holds PhD in political media in the US with a particular focus in media. Now I'd like to welcome his lecture. He may, t he may start. Greetings everybody, I would like. Good evening everyone. The talk about media and the Sheikh Zayed in particular is a, a very important element. Media is a very essential element for all activities and all aspects of life. And the, particularly for the UAE, is there is no space or one centimeter that, that does not have the print or the influence or the impact of Sheikh Zayed. In addition to the support, and he also supported Arab brothers in the Arab world. And he supported friends as well. May God rest his soul in peace. He was a school. For the media, for the media that I was quite involved in all uh, many media act activities, which represent the vision. I hope this vision will be honest and could be easily conveyed to you. The first, the first uh, broadcast was in 1966. It's like yesterday. Yes. Like yesterday, like in 1960s, in the 60s, the Sheikh Zayed launched the Abu Dhabi uh, radio and he strongly believed that um, the UAE should have all the um, media tools and mediums to communicate with the world to communicate, receive, and, ex and, and rec send and receive any events. 
and he, the late Sheikh Mohammed Sheikh Zayed was so keen on sharing all activities in the media and share what what's going on in the world to to the and also share what's going on in his meetings with the public and including the meetings that he used to hold with other people. Therefore, he integrated, he integrated Abu, Abu Dhabi Radio in, in 1969. In, in the same year, Etihad newspaper was also integrated. And well, that was the fourth meeting of the formation, or the fourth meeting for forma formation of the for union. After the, the celebration of the inauguration, uh, he opened the Sheikh Khalifa, His Highness, he was the Crown Prince Sheikh Khalifa. He opened the, the Abu Dhabi TV in Hamdan Street, in a store in the fifth floor. The Abu Dhabi TV was only to broadcast mo um, movies and programs. So when he opened the, uh, when he inaugurated the TV, he had recorded a speech and he said, greeting everybody, I feel happy and that I deliver my speech to everyone. In this, enorm in this enormous occasion of inaugurating Abu Dhabi Radio, I'm quite, I am confident that you share the same feeling and you have the same feeling and you, the radio should pay attention to the Islamic and Arabic values and the spiritual values and hold, hanging on to the religion, Islam and culture and traditions and Arabic culture and tra traditions that we inherited from our ancestors and from our grandparents. So we are an Arabic Islamic nation and we should hang on and hold our uh, and look up to our religion and share and, and educate and teach our the Islamic values to our kids and may God bless you all. This was his speech. As you can see, the audience me, from media and reporters, they get together around the Sheikh Zayed outside the to the radio to understand what his aspiration and his vision in terms of setting up this radio. Like Muhammad Tawfiq himself, he brought all the crew from Sheikh uh, Al-Adna radio, Muhammad Tawfiq Hussain, Ahmed Abu Garbiya, all those reporters, all the established reporters, they established the radio in that day. The new thing, that I, I hadn't known that time, that the consultant Abdullah Da'i, may God rest his soul in peace, was a special consultant to Sheikh Zayed and was also a, a deputy of the media and tourism that was led by Ahmed bin Hamid, the head of the media authority and tourism and social uh, affairs. Sheikh Mohammed in the union Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad has become the Minister of Culture, uh, Culture and Media. Now that consultant, he, Ahmed Tai went to Oman when, when Sadman Gabos became the President of Oman. And for Ahmed Abdullah Dai, there are some poems nobody had read or heard, even my, including myself. This is Abdullah Dai on the photo. He recited some poem that was an amazing poem. A voice echoed in the valley. So he, he intrigued, he was intriguing and he amazed me years. I found inspiration and I found motivation. They said Abu Dhabi here. So I called, today I'm in the media. I've achieved my goal. I have, have hoped that our country will have a voice to, to represent its nation, a voice that could be, could broadcast the achievement of Sheikh Zayed and share it all over the world. Sheikh Zayed 
is a good noble leader he returned the pride of our ancestors and he decorated the city of Abu Dhabi and he a good nation and he is the father of Khalifa you could see Khalifa for a great leader a fruit of his harvest those are an amazing poem I have never had I never heard about it and never heard it but I read it quite recently last week After that, as I pointed out, the work ha, ha started on the other element of the media, which is television. Sheikh Zayed went to London and he met Lord Thompson, the king of the TV, who had established 37 TV channel. Sheikh Zayed asked him to set up a TV channel in Abu Dhabi, and Lord Thompson came along and he had his, his own crew, projects and managers. I remember he was a British man, but wasn't with his uh, very long beard. He was the head of the TV channel, and I worked with him. And my I had my salary. It was at the same place of the hospital of maternity, the same maternity hospital, the current maternity hospital. I signed a contract with him to work with him as a, an interpreter for the news. My salary was 202 Bahrainian dinar, 220 Bahrainian dinar. So the TV started broadcasting on the fifth floor in Hamdan Street, TV black and white. We continued working till the 1975 and then the move moved to its current collocation in Abu Dhabi Corporation, in Abu Dhabi Media Corporation. Uh, Sheikh Zayed, the late Sheikh Zayed took a tour around that facility and he achieved the third element of media after the radio and the newspaper, which is the visual, which is the TV. After, uh, behind, the Sheikh Zayed would look behind the glass and he would watch some local some local uh, actors performing al hayri al hayri fi souq performing and he would listen to them and he was laughing the let shaykh would would laugh when he listened to them this is was the abu dhabi tv as i said this is the second point in in october in the same year 19 uh, 69 uh, between the day of inauguration and the other date I, I met the Watson the head of the TV channel there was a meeting about the unification and union so there was a meeting for the nine leaders in the nine leaders in Abu Dhabi to discuss the union so we fixed the camera We had a table and chairs, and there, there were chairs, and this was all taking place in Hamdan Street. After 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 city center, there was a restaurant, and this was built by Sheikh Zayed particularly to receive Al the Hussein King, the King Hussein, the King uh, the King of Jordan. So the, the cameraman fixed the camera, we set up the place, the rulers, the nine rulers came along. The last ruler was the Sheikh Zayed. So he approached the screen, he welcomed everyone, and he said, what, what, did you, what have you done? I told him we installed the camera. The camera was, had, had been videoing for an hour and a half. He said, he said, he gave us this gesture. What is this? We said, we are waiting outside till you finish your closed uh, session so we come in and take the video to process the video. He said, this is a, a, this is a union meeting, it's not closed. You come in, you sit, you listen, you, wa you watch, 
and you write. This is five words. You are a media man, you are a reporter. Come in ca ca calmly. I was stressed, I was nervous. And from that day, I, st I started accompanying Sheikh Zayed for the 35, for 34 years. This is a story that I, I will share with you in details in some other place. So the media continued, we st continued building the media, like TV channel and uh, newspaper. As I said, media and, and tourism was colorated. And when you inaugurated the TV, the, the consultant went to Cairo and he met many media reporters and uh, we met also uh, Atiaf, which was the first female Arabic broadcaster, and she presented programs. Abdullah Tai also agree, uh, had agreement with other uh, media uh, experts and with her husband, who was an engineer also in the media. In other words, it was a quick work to to bridge the gap between in the Arabic media, in the Budapest media. The uh, media and other emirates, they start by the, the voice of the coast. It, it's a, a, a radio that everybody listened. In, in 1970, Abu Dhabi radio is located at the same location near the Al Maktoum bridge. But Dubai TV started in 19 in, in 1969 the late the late ruler of dubai of inaugurating the dubai tv and that tv was a present from kuwait to dubai sheikh rashid sheikh rashid as you could see inaugurating the tv and Mushak his Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, standing next to his father. Uh, Sheikh Zayed, through the His Highness, the minister, sent me to Dubai TV to improve the screen so it, the Dubai screen can be, become la, like a Abu Dhabi screen. Uh, and, and in 1974, we, we started the uh, color TV in Dubai. Whereas in Sharjah, in the integration, in the era of Sheikh Khalid, and in 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 Sharjah also has had has his, its own radio and TV, set by the Doctor Sultan Gasmi. And he said a uh, discussion through this radio we present uh, an Islamic culture based on our reality and it's not exported media or an, an alien uh, uh, culture. So we will have the first quality uh, media production that represent a very important element to the Arabic Islamic culture. And this is a quotation by Sultan Muhammad Qasimin. And then other Emirates followed suit in terms of setting up media centers and TV and Um Al Gawain and Ras Al Kaima, they set up their own TV, uh, radio channels and TV and so on, and they all followed the method the method of of Abu Dhabi methodology in terms of presenting communication, and even the live broadcast was taking place with the big and senior uh, officials. Now the media now. The media is represented by the late Sheikh Zayed. The late Sheikh Zayed re realized the power of media. He, that's more powerful than army. The media can, can become more powerful than any army. And they are, the media can exceed the power and might of any army. Therefore, he realized the importance of supporting media, whether it's newspaper or, me or radio or TV, and to support other media. 
and he followed up. He wouldn't only see me presenting. He would, his concern for the Sheikh Zayed that I'm being followed and would, would see with the quality of the job I present. So the media at the era of Sheikh Zayed was comprehensive was a very comprehensive and very effective in the Arabic and the international also and enhanced the power and the foundation of the Union of Emirates as Sheikh Zayed he would say this union is based for the youth for, for all for everyone uh, as for uh, during my uh, com uh, during my uh, accompanying uh, Sheikh Zayed, I detected a very honorable attitudes and very honorable stance by Sheikh Zayed. Some of them, like that, you are in the fourth meeting for the this is the meeting, this is the fourth and the last meeting for the nine Emirates in Abu Dhabi. The host, it was in the there was rooms in the upper floor and this meeting that was held in the fourth and final meeting and that meeting used to be called that call the country used to be called the union of uae which is an old name for for 1968 at that moment the uae you'd be called the united of emirates so i sat and i listened and I took an idea here, the Sheikh Zayed, when he entered, my concern, my worries, when I saw the wonderful smile of Sheikh Zayed, he, when he would listen to the speech, when Khalid bin Muhammad al Ghazni delivered the former ruler of, Sheikh Zayed, of Sharijah, he said that we will establish a very strong and robust country and we have strong economy we have very well educated young men we don't we are not we are not concerned about the uk withdrawal sheikh zaid was always smiling the smile remained on his face when he was listening and that day i started following up and the third point and the other point the cameraman left so i i i walk i walked uh, i walked or i mingled with the ruler i heard what they would say to each other i heard what uh, the ruler of qatar ahmed bin ali Athani, to the his crown prince he shall Sheikh Zayed now at the end of the meeting if he says throw your, your yourself to the sea they would do the ruler of qatar ahmed bin ali Athani. He said to the crown prince, I can remember it. The crown prince would say, the crown prince, so you are honest, you are honest. Is the Sheikh Zayed is keen on the unity of the GCC country and the, and the, Ahmad Attaji, he pat on my shoulder and he said, the last spe speeches, he said, this is the news he said no um this is for my own information the camera has already left he said you i'm keen on the unity of the gcc country this is on the last meeting here we can see in 25 of february in in 72 1972 he visited Zayed visited pakistan he tried to listen to the abu dhabi radio from pakistan and he couldn't hear it properly. He couldn't hear it at all. So the broadcast wouldn't reach to Pakistan. So he asked, he said, because there's a new radio, uh, radio, it has been in the operation for only three years. So the first media in the Arabic world, the first Arabic media man, he kept in mind. So we went back to Abu Dhabi. He informed the Ministry of Media for three months, we managed the Farooq Amr engineer, the husband of Nadia Mukhraji, the engineer of the broadcast, Maruk, engineer Farooq, within three months, he built a tower 
uh, with 120 meters in Al Mafrag, Al Mafrag Hospital. He built a tower for broadcast and Sheikh Zayed start listening to the Abu Dhabi radio from anywhere he goes to. He goes to. Another stance, other, other stance, Sheikh Zayed is a cyclopedia for the, his noble uh, stance and his noble activities. Like the, the fight, Tahrir, 6 October war, Sheikh Zayed, we used to call it the war of the Arabic dignity, in brief. With the October war in, in, on September, because the Israelis army were on the Barleaf line, the other people were some the Arab the Arabic people were fasting, so the two fronts, the Egyptian and Israeli uh, uh, and the, and the Syrian, started launching attack. Uh, he was just that he was in London. He thought that the attack was launched by Israel. He called Anwar Sadat and Hafez al Assad, and he they assured him that the war that we launched the war against Israel to elaborate our land, Sina and Julan that was occupied by six years in, in 1976. He said, he said, I'm, I'm fully, I'm supportive and UAE is supportive. Sheikh Zayed is with you in everything because the union, the, the age or the time of UAE was only two years, two, two years and the second day, He held a meeting with the ambassadors of the Arab countries. Four ambassadors came along. He informed them that the, their countries should start supporting, not, not by media officially, they should support Egypt and Syria on that war against Israeli. The other point is the late Sheikh Zayed went to with Muhammad Ibrahim Ibn Nahyan, the Minister of Interior, who wasn't with him in London. They went to the Minister of uh, Foreigner, and he met Alec Douglas, who the Ministry of the the Foreigner Affairs, UK Minister of Foreign Affairs, to to find out whether UK is on their side, on the Arabic side, or the Israeli side. The he assured him that the UK is not taking any stand, is is unbiased, and uh, Israel does refuses the peaceful negotiation. On the second day. He met the other minister, Sheikh Zayed. Here I could remember a very quick note. Uh, they studied the death of Sheikh Hussein Barak, who was the um, he, he he was the head of the aviation Egyptian aviation. The late Sheikh Zayed. It, it was said that the Egyptian aviation required spare parts. So Sheikh Zayed said, the head of the aviation, Hussein Mubarak, called Abu Dhabi, called the Abu Dhabi, and they informed him that Sheikh Zayed is in London. So he, the Sheikh Zayed came to know about the requirement of the Egyptian aviation of spare parts. He called he, Sheikh Zayed formed five representatives, and he took a loan, a one hundred dollar, and transferred it to Egypt. So Egypt can arrange spare parts for the aviation, a hundred million dollars. What, what was the guarantee? What was the guarantee? The union, the UAE was only two years. The guarantee, Abu Dhabi oil. That was arranged by Abu Dhabi. So when he returned, he provided them with the oil. In October, I'll say, Abu Sheikh Zayed returned to Sheikh Zayed returned to Abu Dhabi, and he informed the Qtayba in the meeting of the Arabic Ministry of Oil that Ministry of Oil they decided they either decided to reduce the production five percent on the phone. So what five percent? I would like to have another meeting. The ministers had to, he left. He held a, a press conference and in that UAE 
made announcement that it stopped the production to whoever supports the uh, assault. And indeed, the UAE stopped the production and for any country supports the... So I could say that the UAE opened the third front supporting Egypt and Syria. And the other element, so, so somebody would wonder how come a small country could stop the production of the oil and stop the oil from the greatest countries in the world. So in 20 October, there was a press release in Al Bahar Palace, and the late the late Sheikh Dabash or Muhammad Muhammad, and some of journalists, as you can see on this photo. This is Al Bahar Palace after praying of Taraweeh on Saturday, second twentieth of October, with some Arabic and former journalists, and to respond, three, and we were sitting on the left, and the right the Christina journalist that has an office in Beirut. She came along from Beirut to attend this conference to respond to some uh, American journalist. She, his, uh, the late Sheikh Zayed, he talked about his participation in terms of seizing the productions for the West and his response and his not, uh, response he, he wasn't talking to the journalist. He was addressing the Arabic nation with his voice and his tone of voice that represented his emotions. And he said that we destroyed the impossible and we destroyed the fear of fear. And we started the march to restore our rights and our land by fire after we failed to restore it by the leaves of of olives which is uh, which means uh, peace and other answer that the arabic that we had hoped for is there on the horizon under the smoke of fire this is an amazing metaphor which means very deep and profound things at his heart and the situation requires we will fulfill anything we will do anything, whatever it takes. And some of his quotations, we seize the productions for anyone supports our enemy. And we, our decision is, we launched only one arrow and they have many, many arrows. This is a challenge and an amazing challenge for this man, the Arabic leader, who created, who made the history. Why? Because he wasn't elected by a, a party. He was supported by the Arab, by the nations and all Arabic nations who supported Sheikh Zayed. So the second leader, the other leaders might rule for four years or eight years and then they will be disappear and be forgotten. But Sheikh Zayed, he remained making history until the last day of his life. And here, the representative of the newspaper, representative from Dubai, he asked Sheikh Zayed, how will you seize the production and you have responsibility? Have you consulted with the other Arabic, uh, other GC countries like Saudi and Kuwait? The Iranian newspaper representative asked that question. He answered, he said, the, the consultant uh, of uh, media from Sudan came along with by a paper to Sheikh Zayed. He said, uh, Sheikh Zayed smiled. He smiled and said, answering to the Ittilaat representative, that this is the response. This is the quickest response. Not from me, from, from my brother Faisal Kingdom. Letter, read this letter. The leader, I read it loudly, that Faisal decided to stop the production of oil and to, to the US. And I remember a quick story that was the conclusion of the uh, press conference that Christine asked when he was standing, she asked him, you stop the oil production, then you no longer have income for the, your budget. How can you create this project, this mega project without income? 
and your country is only two years old he he i translated that question he answered he said a very good question he actually said our ancestors and our parents our fathers they said it's not the arabic the arabic oil is no, not more valuable than the arabic blood our ancestors lived on dates and we don't have, we don't we don't mind going to eat on dates to present a good weapon and to support our brothers the arabic brother bro, brothers in the arabic dignity war i translated that and she started clapping she started clapping and applauding we said what's what she is going doing i'm talking about america she said she, said, she I, I said i said what's wrong with you she said because the first time i hear a man a man that he would stop the food or uh, the, from his for his family for the sake of his brothers. This is in Bahar, nineteen seventy-three. His tours in UAE. He took many tours every year. Every year, one day. In nineteen seventy-two, we were a group of of people. He, he his location was Al Khawanij in Dubai. And he so noticed that there are journalists with a, bl a blue hair and colored eye. He asked, "Who are? What are those journalists? Where they are coming from?" I said, "Those are covering your uh, tours for uh, international for international uh, media." So, so he remembered that. So we we came back after seventy days to Abu Dhabi. The the council, the head of council called me. The presidential council called me. That Sheikh Zayed decided decided that 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 uh, Sheikh Zayed decided that there will be a, a a video or a movie about the union. This is uh, Zayed says his the stopping the production of oil is the first step. Ali Sofa said that the Sheikh Zayed decided to produce a new movie. So I wrote the scenario uh, as per my perception. And I went to Hamburg studio for 18 days from the east to Fujairah. And I wrote 18 page in 1972 by my handwriting a scenario about this movie and it was video and they went to hamburg and the so i i made the commentary of that uh, documentary and ali surfa called me he said muhammad sheikh zayed that wrote the name the name of the movie is a shrug and they wrote a shrug so the 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 presidential uh, UAE council presents a shrug, which is the sunrise. And we came back into Abu Dhabi and he watched the documentary. And I think the Libyan ambassador was there near the Sheikh Zayed. As you can see, this is how it looked. This is used to how the Etihad newspaper looked like. This is how. It was printed in Beirut. This is the Etihad newspaper. Here, the late opens the factory of Esment. This is used to, this is Al Etihad. On on this is ha it was used to be on, issued on weekly on weekly basis. And it's then it then it started to be published on daily basis. This is another stance for the late Sheikh Zayed. This is the Shrug documentary, the movie. We didn't know where is the movie. In, in 1992, the Sheikh Zayed asked her about that documentary. I said, it's in the TV. And the TV has become big archive. So we started to look for it. We couldn't find it. I found another copy and they made some modification and they recorded it again. 
other stands at the in the late of in in nineteen seventy nine the the oath the second oath of a uh, ruler of Dubai uh, the Sheikh Zayed was standing next to the ruler of Dubai and I would stand and read the four f uh, sentences which is the end of the oath so they sat together so Sheikh Muhammad Muhammad the Ministry of Media the Ministry of Media and he uh, he gave me he gave me that gesture to come to come closer so I said so I told him how can I help he said tomorrow you present a program on TV called advice and tips to our sons so what should we talk about we talk about the school uh, studies uh, laziness a uh, failure uh, absence absentees the, the time the the time wasted on the TV smoking as a parent so tomorrow I will start at, at, at seven o'clock at seven o'clock I will start this program live and on daily basis after one month I was I was going to and after one month a line and they went to a line I would talk about about chicken vegetables and the late Sheikh Zayed would come to this carnival and stand to me and smile well done he would tell me well done so I was amazed I was talking about meat and uh, and chicken and milk for what uh, well done and behind him Sheikh Mubarak the, and the Muhammad Ministry of Interior and they would tell you you know why he said well done I said no I don't know why he told me well done because your program that you still doing it as he asked Sheikh Zayed that indicates that he follows up that he followed up it was more difficult than that he would follow up with so tips and advice for all kids in other situation there was a heavy rain in Abu Dhabi in 1976 we had a very heavy rain the Ministry of uh, Media called me asked me go and take video and film a line because we have heavy rain and line as well Sheikh Zayed asked you to go and and uh, take some shots in a line for those heavy rain. So you, you can see this the new latest development. So I went to a line with a heavy rain, and I was waiting. Zuhair Abu Adib, the, consult, the agricultural consultant. So Zuhair took us from the heavy rain and line to a Mugafa. It's a, a, a desolent area. So. It was the heavy rain. Where is Sheikh Zayed? There was a small hill. The municipality built a small hill that is extends for 500 meters on 300 high and there was tents at the top and Sheikh Zayed was there. So we greeting him good morning. Sheikh Zayed with a big team with 20 people. He said what's still going on? So, I, he said, we would like to take uh, videos. When I was standing on the hill, the water was merging all the trees. So the water was merging, the, 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 and, and this what could be considered as a spring. He said, before you start filming, you need to have breakfast first. So I had my breakfast. He said, don't write anything until you go to Al Bahar Palace go to Al Bahar Palace and and he had a guest the consultant of the Switzerland uh, Austria that the Austria uh, one of the Australian minister so he asked me after his guest went he asked me what are you going to write about I, I said, well, I might considering. I'm considering. I'm wondering if there we we can have a farm behind the dam in in uh, in a line where we can have streams out of the dam. He said, no. As you said in the media, no, neither this nor that. 
he said the water as it is for a few months and it, it, it reached to Malagat. Malagat is an area which is rich with water, with the underground water. So his terms, do not write anything till you come to Al Magam Al Ain. He gave me the point of his speech. He taught me what to write on the commentary about that video. This is the last uh, stance for Sheikh Zaid. I know that I've taken a long time. So I know that I've taken too long in the Ismail in Egypt, in Cairo. In in 1976, we went to Ismailia. Sheikh Zaid opened the neighborhood. I was surprised. He said, it is a, if they say smile, you are in charge. The first time Sheikh Zaid, smile, smile, you are in Sheikh Zaid. He, he opened a residential complex, 4,500 4, units for the Egyptian people. This is, this is, so people went around Sheikh Zaid cheering and a woman was talking to him. He looked at her, so I supposed to understand. I went to the woman, I said, what do you want, what do you want? She said, my, he said, she said this in, in 76. I said, my name is Naima Suleiman. I have orphans, um, I, I don't have house. I, so, and thanks to Shah Zayed for his house. There was another old man. Sheikh Zayed, so he sent me a message. So this is the media man. I went to this old man, so what's your name? He said, it's Mahal Abdul Razak. My house is destroyed because of the war of 1776, and they have daughters and sons, and I was looking for other country besides Ismailia, but now maybe Mosura. Now thanks to the gift of Sheikh Zayed, now I can settle down in my own country. Which is Ismailia. This is the the car the car next to Uthman Ahmed Uthman, the minister of this I think and he used to ask so many questions. It was an honor for me. It was like the treasures of the world. Each story, each whatever happens, any political situation that he wants to find out about what people say about the media, the West, Western media t says about the, the EIE. This is a speech in Delma, in Delma. I was very ready with any news to, uh, Western media talks about uh, UAE. So it reflects, this is Sharjah. This is the last day, this is Delma. The last week in his life, he went, he goes out of Al Bahar Palace and he asks, "What is Dalma news? He, well, what's going on with Dalma? This is in Ramadan. He he could continued his procession. Ahmed Khadi went to take a video about Dalma, and he went back and he get ready, and after the Taraweeh, I will record the commentary." I recorded the commentary on the video and the documentary presented about Dalma because Dalma is an island of the history. It's the history of civilization, the island of Pearl, pearls, and the origin of our people where Arabic or Abu Dhabi people would go to the sea and the ocean to hunt pearls. And so, sorry for taking too long. The talking about Sheikh Zayed is very uh, amazing uh, talk. Sorry, sorry for taking too long. Thanks for Dr. Muhammad Abbasi for this uh, lecture and for the short time. We will take only one question. Kindly, whoever wants to ask a question or a comment, only one comment.
uh, well done you've covered uh, this is a strategical uh, analysis but it's not a question you motivated me to add something that have started in the US after the the war of 73 some of the journalists said that Sheikh Zayed applied this new strategy when he said that the Arabic oil is not more valuable than the Arabic blood and that quotation called the strategy of suffocating it's called the strategy of suffocating in other words Sheikh Zayed suffocated us by stopping the production of oil and that theory is being taught in the civil defense uh, college in the west and how the west could be ready for such uh, measure like stopping the production thank you very much thank you very much indeed it was a very good strategy and a theory i fight by the weapon i have sheikh zayed and our brothers in egypt and syria they don't have weapon so we do our best like which is the oil and that was speech in the conference in 1976 but Sheikh Zayed when he was asked in 8 August 73 before the war he said if I was asked to fight I will fight with our weapon in 8 August 19 before the war indeed a man he has a vision and he's a theory is a complete complete theory and taught in everywhere and then the oil production led to the raise of the oil in a, a sharp way thank you very much Mohammed Gutsi at the end of this lecture I would like to repeat thanking Mohammed Saudi the manager of the the Emirates Center for Strategic Studies and Research. I would like to thank Mohammed Gutsi and I would like to thank you for coming and until we meet again in our next event. Thank you very much. Goodbye.